I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good today, man, because yesterday from software finally did it. They finally dropped the DLC trailer for Shadow of the Erd Tree, and it was super fucking sick. Um, we're going to talk about it a lot here in this video. I can't put it on screen for you guys, unfortunately, um, but I will link it down below if you guys haven't seen it already. It's it's probably damn near a perfect trailer. I loved just about everything I saw in it. Um, with that being said, we're going to have some invasions in the background. And I am going to silently watch the trailer again for like the thousandth time uh, for me personally on my phone. And I'm just going to go like frame by frame and just kind of explain my thoughts and opinions on the trailer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press the play button now. And uh, again, you guys won't have any audio or anything like that. I'm just silently watching it, and then I'm talking about um, the stuff I see. Alright, so first things first. The first thing we see in the trailer is some feet. Because Miyazaki has to... <laughs> Miyazaki has to put feet somewhere in his trailers, right? <laughs> in his games, he's got to have feet. Um, no, it's interesting because... Um, I don't recognize this skirt or dress anywhere. It kind of looks similar to Melina's, but not really. So it's either a new piece of armor or it's a new character. Um, now, with that being said, this also pretty much confirms everyone's suspicions about where the DLC entrance is going to be. You're going to have to kill Moog. Um, and I, I definitely have seen some things recently. Uh, when this trailer dropped, a lot of different people came back into the game. And I think a uh, majority of the casual audience probably never even found Moog or Melania. Um, so I expect a lot of activity in Elden Ring in the next like week or so. Um, now, if that activity stays, I have no idea. But I will be invading a lot to try and figure some things out. And, uh... Yeah, man, this, this is super sick. We're, we actually, we're, mostly we're all right about uh, Mikola and the entrance of the DLC being you have to kill Moog. Uh, which is really cool because you can get to Moog super early on. Um, so you can honestly get to the DLC early, early on if you're able to kill Moog at like a lower level. Um, I'm sorry, that's my stomach growling. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, this is the Mikola part. By the way, I really thought that FromSoft would, was going to troll us with the whole Mikola thing. I thought maybe they were going to throw us like out of left field and just not make the DLC about Mikola, but they, they totally did make it about Mikola. Um, so here we get to see the Shadow Realm, or the Realm of Shadow, whatever they want to call it. Uh, it's very similar to... Lindell almost kind of it's like a warped shadowy Lindell um, So this is Mikola's dream world uh, We've already actually entered dreams in the game uh, So we can actually enter the Fia's dream and fight uh, Fortisax, right? But I guess with Mikola being an actual demigod uh, I guess he's able to manifest an entire realm in his dream. Uh, now, if this dream is like warped or corrupted somehow, it may be the case, but I'm not sure. Um, he also could be just his alter ego, uh, Saint Trina, which he's theorized to also be Saint Trina. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. This is like so fucking sick. So then we see like a, a knight holding a rune or he's near a rune or something. And we see like this duelist. And then we see a character that is very, very similar to Hawkeye Golf almost. I'm super excited about that. And then we see kind of a, a purpley kind of swamp with a character with a mask. Some kind of enemy with a mask. Uh, that pretty much confirms to me there's going to be some sleep nonsense. And then we see a guy sitting in like a throne. He is, uh, he's kind of wearing similar clothing to Tanith almost, in my opinion. Um, and the room he's in is very empty. Uh, but it still looks really, really cool. And then we get, 
I've had people say that the next uh, image that you, you see in that trailer is the um is a poison swamp, but it's not only a poison swamp. Apparently, it's also a death blight swamp, uh, which has been a meme for so long. And I saw something somewhere that said Miyazaki realized while he was making Elden Ring that he just really, really likes making poison swamps, and he didn't realize it until people told him, "Hey, uh, you must really like poison swamps." And uh, that does seem to be the case. And then we see like a painting of something. No, this painting, it kind of looks like a character that shows up a bit later that we're going to talk a little bit about because he's really, really cool looking. We're about a minute to the trailer now. We see a bunch of jars hanging from the ceiling. We see a, a fiery place. We see a, what looks like an, a legacy dungeon. And then we get the big on fire wicker man boss. Um, this guy looks fucking sick. Uh, he also kind of scares me because I think I'm going into the DLC um, with my level 200 Pyromancy Pumpkinhead build. Uh, I think I'm going to go into the DLC with that guy. Um, so this boss kind of scares me because he probably is very resistant to everything I do on that character. Uh, but either way, man, he looks fucking sick. He does a big fiery stomp, and uh, it looks like you can, you're can you actually riding torrent around this guy, so maybe this guy is like an open field boss, I'm not sure. And then the next image is of a uh, snake man eating <laughs> the player character. I've heard some people say the moon in the background has Ronnie's rune on it. Uh, that could be the case too. Now this lion, this lion to me is the subject of so many things to talk about. I think he's very, very interesting. I'll tell you what I think this lion is, or who I think this lion is. I think this is Godwin, personally. And it's, if this is not Godwin, then we will probably get another DLC about Godwin. Even though I believe Miyazaki said there will be no DLC past this one. Um. But this guy is very, very interesting. First of all, he has blonde hair. Kind of similar to Godwin. Um, under his robes, you can see that there are limbs grafted onto him. Or people inside his robes that are like working to move his body around. Um, but there's a couple things that kind of helps my theory of this being Godwin. Um, there, and there's one thing that throws it off too. So, uh, he does some kind of breath attack um it looks like it might be like like a storm attack or maybe a death blight if it's a death blight then you know obviously that's that's godwin all day right the um the other thing that kind of helps me think that it's godwin is the lightning that he does uh it's very yellow lightning and um where else do we see yellow lightning, right? Uh, we see a couple of yellow lightning spells, and then we also see yellow death lightning, right? From Fortisex. Um, and I believe Godwin is, like, known to have lightning attacks or something like that. So he has some kind of breath attack that might be death blight, and then he has a bunch of lightning attacks. And he's also grafted too. I know that Godwin isn't the one that grafted shit onto his body. That was Godric. Um, but they are related. They are related. They are from the same lineage. So keep that in mind. Um, now the thing that throws it off that it might not be Godwin. Uh, are two different things. One, he's not some random fish monster. Uh, which he is in IRL, right? In the... Uh, well, not IRL, but you know, in the um, <laughs> in the deep, deep root depths. And the other thing is that he has a bunch of crucible horns, not crucible horns, of uh, omen horns all over his body. And I don't know what that's about. <laughs> uh, but let's continue. So this is the, uh, what I think is Godwin. And it probably won't be Godwin because fuck me in my opinions, right? <laughs> But I just thought that was very interesting to point out. Now here's the boss everyone is talking about. We're talking about this guy Mesmer. Um, so this guy, his name is Medmer the Impaler. He he has a bunch of like dragon stuff all over him. 
If you see a bunch of different weapons, we see a curved sword, we see some throwing daggers. Uh, Mesmer is very, very interesting because I think he's like being painted as the millennia of the DLC. Um, he has a spear. He has some snake stuff all over his body, kind of like similar to Gelmir. Um, but then he is using what I think is Blood Flame. Specifically because he keeps talking about his mother or whatever. That kind of indicates formless mother. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, we see like a sleep spell. We see the kicks, the Simpo kicks. We get a big uh, throwing jar. And, and then we get a character that's literally guts. <laughs> This guy is literally wearing the Berserker armor, and then he has the Guts' crossbow. <laughs> Which is fucking sick. Uh, we get like a big uh, Suresh Roaring spell. We get like this uh, big blue plane. Uh, there's a guy with a gravity lance. There's a hippo uh, with porcupines coming out of him. Uh, we see a guy. Oh, here's here's a guy I want to talk about. We see a guy on a horse uh, that looks like he's an alien. Maybe someone. Maybe these are the guys that taught Radon things. I don't know. Um, but the other thing I want to talk about is this yellow character ripping out his own spine. Uh, I get a few different vibes from this. Um, first of all, the thing that he's ripping out of his body is definitely going to be a weapon. Uh, but this guy is very similar to uh, the old monk. Kind of. He has that yellow vibe about him. Uh, he could be a madness oriented. He could be uh, golden order, golden order oriented. He could be um, he could be a lot of things, man. He could be a lot of things. But let's move on. I definitely think that you're gonna get his uh, his spine and head as a as some kind of weapon. Uh, so we see more of the mesmer boss fight. Uh, confirming to get Crucible Wings in the DLC, which is really, really cool. I think people have already modded that spell into the game anyway. <laughs> and then we get Shadow of the Erd Tree. And then finally we see Mikola at the end. Um, where, whether Mikola will be a boss is to be decided, but... Man, that trailer was fucking sick. And then of course it comes out June 21st, uh, just four months away, which is really fucking cool. And I cannot wait, man. I am super excited for the DLC, man. Um, I don't know. The most interesting part of that trailer to me was the guy in yellow. I wish I could talk about him more. Um, but unfortunately, I am running out of time for this video. Um, but uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on the DLC, man. I love it. And I'm I'm really happy that it's bringing activity back to the game. Uh, because, man, Elden Ring was suffering there for a second. And, uh, well, anyway, guys, that was kind of my thoughts, opinions, and reactions to the DLC. Um, so with that being said, guys, uh, if you like this kind of content, this kind of PvP content, this kind of trailer analysis content, be sure to like and subscribe to the video, man. Go follow my Twitch, join my Discord if you haven't already. And, uh, with that being said, guys, fare thee well, peace out, and all that fun stuff. And, uh, and don't you dare go hollow friends.